This video demonstrates the use of branches and loops inside of a function. The program on the right has a hidden number that the user can try to guess. Let's take a look at what that program looks like. Outputs guess a number between 0 and 100. If we guess 50, it tells me that your guess was too high. I'll run the program again. If I guess 30, it tells me guess was too low. If I guess the hidden number, which is 46, it tells me you guess right. We can move these branch statements inside of a function, and this function will determine whether the guess was correct. So let's create this function. Since the function is going to be determining whether or not the guess was correct, the return data type will be a bool. The return will either be true, the guess was correct, or false, the guess was incorrect. And then we can name this assess guess. And what's being passed to this function is the guess, which is an integer, an int, and the hidden number, which is also an int. All right, and then we'll be t returning whether or not the guess was correct. So we're returning whether the guess equals the hidden number. Okay, let's see how we're doing so far by compiling and executing. 5 is too low, 50 is too high, 46 is just right. Okay, now our function isn't being called yet, but we also haven't moved the branch conditions into the function. So let's do so. We're going to get those branch conditions and paste them inside of the function, which is assess the guess. And then we need to call assess guess. We're going to be calling assess guess inside of main. We need to pass assess guess two parameters. First the guess and then the hidden number. I'm going to copy the guess as the first parameter and hidden num as the second parameter. Now let's check to see how the program is doing so far. Guess a number between 0 and 100. 50, too high. 40, too low. 46, it's just right. Great, now we can next add a while loop that while the guess is not right, we'll keep on asking. So, while the assess guess is wrong, so while it's not correct, while the person has not guessed correctly, we will ask the person to guess again. All right. Let's compile, execute, guess a number, 50, too high, 40, too low, 45, too low, 46. We guess right, and the program ends. Now we have redundant code. We have redundant requests to the user to guess a number between 0 and 100, and then storing the guess. So let's quickly make a function that takes care of getting the guess. The guess is an int, so we're going to return an int, and we're going to name the function getGuess, because that's what this function will do. It will guess getGuess. So inside this function, we're going to create the variable guess, initialize to negative 1, and at the end, we're going to return the guess. In the middle, we're going to take the code from main that we know gets the guess, and we're going to paste inside of the function getGuess. Back inside of main, where we used to have the code that we just cut, we're going to paste the function, and that function will be returning the guess by the user, so we're going to store the guess by the user into the variable guess via this assignment. We did this same get guess inside of the while loop, so I'm going to simply paste the code for getting the guess inside the while loop. We compile execute, let's see what happens. 40 too low, 50 too high, 46 is right. Awesome. Now we can take this game of ours, this guess the hidden number game, and put this inside of a function. All the code that's highlighted is really the game itself. So let's go ahead and create a function. It will have no return type, so its data type will be a void for return. And we'll name this guess game. And there's also no parameters to be passed. Then we'll cut the code from main that is the entire guess game and paste that code inside of the function. And then we'll copy the function name and the open close parenthesis and paste that into main with the semicolon. And now we compile, 
execute. It will guess 50, too high, too low, and just right. So now our main is simply two statements. The function, guess game, and return zero. So inside of main, we can add a little bit more functionality. We could add in and ask to the, the user if they want to play again. So once they've played the game once, we can ask them if they'd like to play again. To play again, and they can uh, press Y for yes. All right, and then they will type in they will press some key, so I need to create a variable at the top of main, which is just a char, that's key. And I'll initialize it to a dash, that'll be fine. And if they type in yes, then they'll play the game again. This is a good opportunity to use a do while loop. So do guess game, and then ask the user if they'd like to play again. And we'll keep asking them if they'd like to play again while the key they press is equal to y, because y indicates they want to play again. Let's compile. Oh, we have a syntax error. Line 50, it says missing terminating quote character, the double quote. I forget to add a double quote. I did. Easy fix. Let's see if we still have any errors. No errors remaining. Let's run the game. Guess a number between 0 and 150. Okay, 46. You guess right. You want to play again? Sure. Guess 40. 46. Do I want to play again? No, not really. <laughs> okay. And that's our game. Inside of this code we've written, we have a, a call to our guess game. And inside of guess game, we have a while loop that while we do not assess while not correct guess, that'd be a better name for this function, would be correct guess. So if I am to update that, I get an error, and the error is on line 35, correct guess doesn't exist. So that's because assess guess needs to be changed to correct guess. So I've changed now the function definition as well as the call of that function. We can recompile just to do a quick test to make sure this is still functional. And it is. No, thank you. Do not need to play again. So while we do not have a correct guess, we ask the user to give a guess. And that is inside of this function call, the get guess. And the correct guess function call contains our branches for the correct guess. Excellent. Thank you.